Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping back in again for some Nuclear Throne Ultra and we have a bunch of characters unlocked at this point. Of course we still have all the vanilla characters going but I do want to try out some of the modded characters especially some that I haven't played prior because uh, there's a few here that I never actually ended up playing in my previous series. So I'm going to try out this one called Atom. Items despawn quicker, but you deal contact damage and you can teleport, which seems like if we get Gamma Guts, we'd be in a real good position with this uh, fella. So I'm going to try him out. As I did say, I don't have custom art uh, for my thumbnail for some of these, so I do apologize about that. But I think it works nonetheless. I'm, I'm, hope I'm hoping you guys are completely fine with that. I think it's uh, fun to try out some of the new modded characters anyways. So I'm going to jump in as Atom here and see exactly how Atom works. So we do start with a laser pistol, which is kind of interesting. And then, oh yeah, so we can, ooh, okay, I see. So we can, like, dive into enemies. It's a little hard to, um, to contact damage them, but like I said, I think Gamma Guts is going to really be what we, um, what we want to go for to get that working. Pop gun, I think I'm pretty happy with what i got going on right now. But yeah, I, I really like this. Oh, you can teleport. So it teleports to your cursor. That's pretty good to know. Is there a range limit? No, it's literally wherever your cursor is pointing. And you can indeed teleport through walls. Okay, so this seems really strong so far. As I said, if you get Gamma Guts, I'm guessing it's going to be really, really good. We'll go with Scarier Face off the bat here. Health chest there is rather nice. Um, so basically, teleporting, I'm going to... Preserve until we have Gamma Guts, or um, if there's like a single enemy like that. If it's big groups, I'm probably not going to use it too much. But I am going to use um, use our Teleport to like get around to positions that benefit us a little more, I think. That seems like a pretty good way of uh, playing around with the Teleport idea. But yeah, really cool character. I'm wondering what his custom skins are. Now, one thing I want to do with this, um, this playthrough, which is something I didn't do in my last one, is really go for as many unlocks as I can and try and get that 100%. Um, and that means going for like all the alternate skins and I think you need to get secret ultra mutations for a lot of the characters as well So I'm intrigued by how that works Now I don't think I should teleport onto a boss here Good Let's get the jaw splitter out because that thing does good damage There you go It does mean we can travel around a little faster as well So if there's like leftover enemies we can get to them a lot lot easier Now eagle eyes is really good with this jaw splitter here So I'll see if I can grab that if it shows up um, hmm, hmm, let's go with this, just because I think ammo drops giving rads means we can level up a bit faster, lovely, toxic revolver, no thanks, and yeah, us dealing contact damage is quite nice too, because that's kind of what you get from Gamma Guts, but we have that as a base level, I think is pretty damn useful. Oh, dude, I tried to teleport onto that guy, and I just missed him. So, we don't exactly have a huge um, hitbox. Also, I really like the walking animations of this character. They're really funky. Really funky. Okay, we do have uh, this here. Good, we'll take Bolt Marrow, because this will make this weapon so much better. Um, get over here. Does Bolt Marrow not work with this? Oh, no, it does. Cool. But yeah, on maps like this, it's really, really nice to... Oh, God. Really, really nice to be able to get around things a little easier here. Walk into that guy. I gotta say, I can just kind of walk into certain enemies. Maybe extra feet would be really good for the extra movement speed, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, good old bolt marrow to keep us going here. Double flame shotgun, I will definitely take that. Good, good, good. And we'll hop on through once again. We've got like a second little rad bar there. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Oh, is that um, is that my next uh, heal that I get from picking up 100 rads? I'm going to guess that it is. I'm going to guess that it is. We've got an invisible guy down here. So those guys steal your ammo, so you've got to be kind of careful with those dudes. I like the fact that we're getting rads for all these pickups as well. Ooh, that was kind of close. Ah, oh, that was so stupid. I should have just teleported out of the way. It's okay, we can restart. Um, we got an unlock there, but I didn't really get a chance to see what it was. Yeah, I'm going to have to sort of pick my targets on what I want to teleport onto. It's a little tricky because you don't have a huge hitbox. I'm really hoping we get Gamma Guts this time around because I really want to see how this functions with Gamma Guts because I bet it's going to be kind of insane. We'll take a shotgun here. I quite like a shotgun. Lovely. 
And we got level 2 straight away as well. No Gamma Guts yet. Um, extra damage at max HP is always nice. The extra fire rate is good. We'll go with the extra fire rate this time around. I think 30% fire rate is potentially pretty darn good. Beautiful. We're stomping through most enemies at this point anyways. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm glad, so glad to be back in Nuclear Throne. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take Grenade Launcher. Um, we can actually try and go Pizza Zoos this time around. It's the first time we've seen the Grenade Launcher early, which is weird, because normally Grenade Launcher seems to be one of the things that I see a lot, mainly because it's one of those weapons that I constantly kill myself with, so I remember getting it a lot. Okay, we got the Kraken Pistol again here. This thing proved to be very good last time. But yeah, we can kind of save some ammo here and there on certain kills by just walking into enemies. Um... Like this guy here. We can just walk into him and save some ammo there, which is rather nice. Right, through we go. Um, and then we have... Ooh, alien testing with teleport could be really good, but there's Gamma Guts, though. Ugh. We'll go with Gamma Guts just because it seems so much better for us. But yeah, like having already having contact damage and then being able to do this. Right, we got the piece of sewers opened. Lovely. But yeah, enemies like this, we can just kind of... But yeah, I want to I wanna get the um, the Kraken Intestines or whatever the hell that was thing was called. Because I think that'll be kind of amazing. <laughs> we did take some contact damage there, but we take less contact damage when we've got Gamma Guts on, so I don't mind. And we'll head on through here. Pizza time! <laughs> I love the fact that it just says pizza time. Right, uh, what can we go for here? Let's go with the uh, higher max ammo. Now, I haven't been down to pizza sewers in a little while here, so forgive me if it's if I do a terrible job. Oh, is there something I can interact with? No. Oh, this gives us a golden screwdriver. That's pretty nice. Um, I guess I'll take that for going to um, what's it called? The the car area, the YV's mansion. Wow, very, very small floor. We've got the triple machine gun. I don't think we need that right now. The Kraken pistol is doing a decent job. And this takes us underground. So there's the car. I did see it had a bit of a gold tinge to it. So really nice little path we can take here. Honestly, if we can get pizza sewers, I think we, we ought to always take it based on this path that we're taking right now. We can get good gold weapons and stuff like that. Okay, you're about, of course. Double laser pistol. I mean, that makes more sense to take right now. You took a lot of damage from me there. Good stuff. It's kind of hard to teleport directly onto an enemy. you got to be really sort of precise. No, 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 no. At least I can do that. Boom. So we get in the car. Good to go. Um, explosive teleportation. That sounds rather interesting. Oh, yeah. I like this. So this plus Gamma Guts plus the um, intestines thing, the alien intestines, I reckon could be extremely powerful. Even just the, tele the, the explosive teleport here seems extremely good. Golden Glove. Nice. Like, this is, yeah, this is very strong. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. Okay. Big fan of that. But that's that's definitely a path that I'm going to take more often here. Oh, no. I walked right into an explosive enemy. Okay, but that's something to keep in mind. Obviously, we're not always going to get the ability to do that. Because we're not always going to get uh, the ability to access pizza sewers. But whenever we get anything explosive early on, we'll go for that. stuff. Toxic Revolver is probably decent to take early. The Toxic Weapons can be a little bit problematic, but they do do a good amount of extra damage, so they're kind of worth taking. I'm really hoping for that Explosive Weapon now. Okay, so let's take this this time. Oh, we've got Gamma Guts again. Let's try this this time instead and see how it works. So it does initiate the, the um, strands of whatever you want to call it, the alien stuff from our... Um, from our initial teleport point rather than where we end up, which makes it a little weaker than I would have thought. 
but it's not bad by any means. We've just got to kind of start teleporting in the right locations. Well, this is this is rather good. This I think this with the uh, throne, but could be extremely powerful. Hand cannon here is rather nice. Good, good, good. And I'll take laser gun there. S sadly, no explosive thing the other. But there's thrown, but... I think this combination is very, very strong. And we should be able to kill a lot of enemies this way. It's pretty awesome, I like this. Ah, wait, can we? Ah, no, we can't. I was hoping maybe we could use our explosive throne butt to do that, but they, they clearly intentionally made it not a real explosion. So that you can't abuse it for that reason. Which is kind of understandable. But a little bit sad. Right. Um, da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of things that are going to work really well for this setup. Okay, don't do that again. I literally went to the explosive enemy again. We should have started with our uh, screwdriver this time around so we can always go to the thingy. What do we get in here? The bow. Bow could be pretty good. Yeah, bows are charge up, so very nice. Again, okay, I've got to be really careful about that. I keep teleporting. Okay, let's let's go back to main menu here and um, grab ourselves that gold. So we've got golden fist, golden glove, and golden screwdriver. I'd rather go for golden screwdriver. Let's see how we complete these. Complete an air, a main area after the sewers without firing as atom. Complete five levels in a row using the crown of haste. Complete an area after the sewers without firing as Atom. We can definitely do that. We almost did that just then. But yeah, the screwdriver, not particularly good. The golden one does give you a little bit more uh, to work with because it's uh, faster firing. So overall, it's not amazing. But if we can get the similar things that we had going on there, that without firing business is, is fairly likely. Um... Let's go with that. I think that's pretty useful. Delete all your shots. Thank you. Delete all your shots as well. Yeah, we really need the air thrown, but to make it work. But Alien Testens does also work as a sort of cop-out version. Right, we'll take that jaw splitter. Um... I'm going to go with Eagle Eyes, because Eagle Eyes with Jaw Split is really good. Just means both bolts come out at the exact same point, pretty much. Meaning you can deal pretty much double damage to a single target. Okay, there's the boss man. I didn't even see him there for a second. You're going to be a little bit annoying, so I'm going to move behind you. Yeah, that worked out really well. Okay, so it's any, any stage after the sewers here, so we're fine for now. Beautiful stuff. Dude, we've got a lot of uh, crocodile boys here. Uh, director shotgun could be pretty darn good. I still want to keep my screwdriver going there. So, still waiting on something that we can use after the sewers. Beautiful. I love the ability to teleport around like that. That's really nice. Hey, there you go. So we get ourselves alien test in there. So we'll take that. And we'll try and complete the stage only using that. Beautiful. It should be pretty easy, to be honest. I, w I wouldn't think it'd be that hard. But obviously, the longer we wait between using our uh, alien testings, the more damage it does. So we do have to be a little bit coy about our usage of it. Most of the enemies dealt with. Cool. Let's 
Let's just take out all of them. Okay, that should unlock our B-skin, right? I don't know if it did. I didn't get the pop-up, so I'm a little unsure right now. I'm going to try again, just in case. Bouncer Flak Cannon. Nice. Maybe it's because I didn't go the right way. I gotta be really careful about the explosive guys. Well, let me let me hold off for a second here. Let's kill you. Let me hold off and let my um let my alien testing thing come back. There you go. Just so I can kill the explosive ones with some actual range. Making it less likely to instantly kill myself. I'm not going to go through that. I'm going to go through the real way back. Because I want to see if that makes a difference. Dude, there was an assassin chilling in the corner, you, you little creep. As if there was an assassin just sitting in the corner. I did not see him. I thought that other guy was the last enemy, so I was playing it pretty uh, fast and loose, to be honest. Jawbreaker again. Gamma Guts will obviously take. Well, job, Jawbreaker's... I was thinking of Jaw Splitter. This is Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker's better. Especially if you get Shotgun Shoulders with this thing. Shotgun Shoulders with this thing is kind of insane. Okay, good. really liking the ability to, to sort of skip through some of these areas. Save some ammo on those guys. Honestly, this is so nice. Good thing is we can like teleport to them and then walk into them. That's a real screwdriver rather than our golden one. Yeah, nice. Luckily, we got some HP back from him. A little bit scary. Um, again, we'll take this. I really want to go for that B skin because I think it think it'll be cool. These guys we can insta kill. I like killing those guys easily. You, I can't insta kill. Your buddies I can, but not you. Level 4 instantly as well here. Good, good. Whenever you take damage... Okay, so this is probably really good for us as well here. Oh, I just shot, you idiot. Unintentional. It says any stage after two as though, so I can do it on another stage. It's not required that it has to be this stage. Right. Take care of all of these guys. Club. I guess I'll take that over this. And we'll go through here. Try to get more golden weapons. Oh my god. That's so amazing. I love that. Oh, for god's sake. <laughs> Unfortunately, as you may already be able to notice, I'm not the best at this game and I play it very risky. I play it very, very, uh, like, fast and loose. So I die a lot to some stupid stuff. But that, that's why I do the episodes the way that I do them. M many, many runs in one video. That's just what works best. What weapon we got here? Really want explosive weapons. I'm going to go pizza sewers again, but apparently they are rare. Very, very rare. Um, Throne butt, we'll go with that. Throne butt's very, very good. The good thing is with a throne butt, it's like every single teleport explodes. It's not like it has a, a, a cooldown or a timer. Well, look at that. That was insane. Absolutely annihilated him. <laughs> Um, 
Let's take extra feet again. I'm liking the movement speed. And the near misses seems like it could work quite well with the teleport, to be honest. I'm, I'm like exploding from like, there's an original explosion as well. So maybe I can get into the sewers if I do this right. Yeah, I can. Okay, nice. This character can get straight into the sewers. No, no, you bastard. Bee skin for completing a main area after the sewers. Yeah, we did it. Nice one. Which, weird, because it was the sewers, not after the sewers. But good to know I can actually explode that now. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool to die there, because I know that I can get through to where I want to get through now. Good old blood rifle. Easy enough on these early enemies. Easy enough. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does something. Hey, there's a grenade launcher anyways. I think I'm going to take the grenade launcher regardless. It's... We've got a melee weapon to save our ammo on it, and we can use it to, p to kill the big boys. Or ourself. <laughs> My god. I'm so pathetically bad at this game sometimes, it's hilarious. Blood shotgun, nice. Blood shotgun seems like it could be good. Ah, not quite. It's always annoying when you don't quite get level 2 on the first area. Probably want to take the regular shotgun, to be honest. Um, what are we going to go for here? Going to go for Rage. Rage is always fun. I love the ability to fire faster. Any fire rate increases are always my jam. i got to remember as well that I can use my teleport to get out of danger if there's like a specific bad enemy. that's looking like it's going to hit me or whatever. Shotgun's doing a good job here. Nice. Easy kill. And yeah, if we get the explosive teleport, we can do some good stuff with that. But unfortunately, we didn't get it. We'll take power craving, because we're going to be changing over our weapons here. Walked right into that enemy and lost some rage. Stupid of me. Oh, and again. Losing rage left, right, and center. Ooh, this thing is very, very good. And we got it with Frost as well. Which already fires Frost bullets, so... This thing's going to be pretty strong. Yeah, this thing's pretty good. We got that there. No, 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 no. I guess that's not what I wanted to do at all. I, I used the wrong weapon on it. Nice. Get here, crow boy. Yeah, this weapon's doing good damage. So the fire's like, while they're frozen, they're still on fire, which is logically a bit strange, but gameplay-wise, very, very nice. Spiral yo-yo gun. Got you. And we'll just head on through straight away here. Right, what are we going to go for here? Let's go with the eagle eyes. Sacrifice weapon mods. I like my freeze. I don't want to sacrifice that. I don't know what that does, sacrificing weapon mods, but I really like my freeze ability right now. Nice. It's nice to be able to kill these big guys before they're able to actually even shoot me as well. What are you doing in Wifey's Mansion? You shouldn't be here. What did we get there? Golden Flagon. Golden Flagon's decent enough. Yeah, some of the golden weapons are kind of meh. Others are really good. Also, the developer did say that adding my suggestion of randomized golden starting weapons. So basically, if you have a bunch of them unlocked, it'll just randomly give you one of them. Th I think that'll add so much to runs. Because it means that sometimes you'll get dealt a shit hand and have to die uh, start with a golden fucking disc gun or something. Um, add some difficulty to the runs. Morpho laser. Let's get away from that. Come back and get our rads. Did I actually get the rads there or did they disappear? I think they disappeared, you know. Because um, with this guy, rads disappear quicker. Oh, we can enter here now as well. That's nice. My bad. Um, 
Go with Scarier Face. Scarier Face is just always a good pick. There's never a run that doesn't benefit from Scarier Face, I don't think. So I've got to be really careful about picking stuff up, because it disappears pretty quick. I mean, luckily this thing, ammo-wise, is super, super efficient, so we're killing stuff really fast. And not having to worry too much about ammo. Sticky launcher there is kind of nice. Yeah, our rads disappear fast. Aha, got behind you, fool. Is that it? That is it. Nice one. Don't think there's anything other secrets we can do within the um within the, the, the dragon area. I'm sure there is. There's secrets everywhere in this mod, so. Seems to be so many diverging paths. There's probably a few flaws I haven't even seen yet. Okay. I... Yeah. <laughs> I made a, a pretty big misplay there. But we can we can now go back um, and change up our golden weapon. But this is why I'd love it if you could like switch up your golden weapons. Um, so let's try the flare gun. See how that does. Like, just... The AoE on flare guns is so nice. I think it uses explosive ammo as well. I'm not entirely sure on that. Yeah, it does use explosive ammo. But yeah, just the, the AoE ability of it is so nice for us. We can get a lot done with this. Um, go with Impact Wrists here. I, I think Impact Wrists is one of those ones that used to be really bad, but in this mod it's become... Well, well not really bad, but not very useful. And this mod is actually so goddamn nice. And also, just visually, it looks amazing, which is a huge bonus for me. Makes it so much more flashy to use. Now, I'm not picking up another weapon yet, because if I start picking up other weapon types, I'll start getting split ammo. Whereas at the minute, all my ammo is just explosive ammo, which makes this thing more valuable. Bullet popper. Bullet popper is pretty good, though. I'll take bullet popper. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be really good in the sewers as well here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Puffy Cheeks is probably pretty good. Being able to double reload. Basically means we get some extra fire rate at the start. This thing has got pretty quick fire rate, so that works. It's just nice as well to like break a bunch of walls with their uh, impact wrists. Get stuff out of the way. Make some room. Nice, got the burr there as well. Come on, you guys. You're going down. Yeah, regardless of the extra damage you get to other enemies, it's just nice to be able to destroy a bunch of walls and stuff. Um, Go with Absorbing Rads. Oh my god. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, areas like this that are really tight and compact, especially on this stage, this area, makes a lot of sense to be able to open up the floor space a little bit. Now, it doesn't always work that way, obviously. But a lot of the time it does. Disc gun, I think I'll be okay, thank you. And there's that extra heal we get from every 100 rads. It's kind of nice to have that. Yeah, that, that bar on the right is the uh, extra rads heal as well. I just saw it. Uh, but, but, uh, what do we want to go for here? We've not got scarier face yet, have we? So, going for glass arm. The minus two maximum HP is a little sketchy. But post loop, you can get maximum HP back via a few different ways. So, it's not the, the end of the world. I like the way that the traveling flare also does damage before it lands, too. Lightning crossbow. God damn, that sounds good. That sounds very, very good. In fact, I'm probably going to use that more than my flare gun at this point, because crossbows are already very strong. Add lightning to that, and that's like so much extra you're getting. Okay, who we got here? That big dog, of course. Okay, now, the, the flare gun on the boss is a lot better. Crap. 
that. Overheal, nice. Nice to get a little bit of overheal going. Dude, this is incredible. We're going to go through here again, because why not? I like just trying the alternate routes whenever we can. They definitely add a lot of difficulty to the game, so I think early on it's probably not the best idea. Still. God, my health is a little bit sketch right now. I'm getting a lot of healing from my rads though, which is really useful. It, synerg it seems to synergize quite well with other stuff that can give you more rads as well, which is really nice. Um, I think at this point we'll probably want to take Strong Spirit just in case. Really nice to be able to teleport in to like grab all the, all the stuff there. Like grab the ammo and stuff before it despawns. Oh god. I don't know how I didn't die. I think Strong Spirit saved me, maybe. I'm on one HP at the minute, so... That's very nice to see. Good. Yeah, straight through. Oh, goddamn. Um, since we've lowered our maximum HP, let's increase it again. Um, hey, we got Angel as well on lock. Nice. Um, we'll take Frost. Frost is always good. Always want to be taking Frost. Let me know what you guys, what you guys want me to do with crowns and stuff. How you want me to do, like, different game modes and challenge runs and crowns. I'd, I'd be interested to how people want to see all of those. Okay, that's not great for us right now. Okay, like, there is a boss here, so let's... Try and take out everything before we have to fight the boss. There you go. This seems to do insane damage to bosses. Flare gun. Yeah, the flare gun's really good at killing bosses. It's very, very nice. And we're on to this area, which is always the scare one of the scariest areas. The enemies just have insane attacks. They can just, like create so much mess on the screen at once. Got to be really careful. You can see how much shots these guys are firing, look. I'm trying to get the rads wherever I can. It's a little bit tricky. Ah, bad. Hit there. Oh, goddamn. Need some more ammo for this bad boy. Oh shit, there's a guy nestled into the corner there. Laser wave gun. I'm going to try that out. I know it's uh, cursed, but we'll give it a go. It seems kind of good. I did get hit by a pretty big explosion then, so a little bit concerned on that front. We got him in the end. God damn, that explosion was crazy. Right, what are we going for here? Extra fire rate, I like... I don't know why there's a specif like specification between fire rate and reload. Like, fire rate and reload are one and the same in this game, so it's really annoying that, like, they get, um, called two different things. Or at least I think they're the same. They seem to be the same. Oh my god. How are you not- I was just about to say, how are you not dead yet? What the hell? One of those deposit weapon things here. No, I don't want to go through it. What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay, this is nuts. This character in theory is actually pretty good at this stage because I can move around so easily, but I'm a little worried nonetheless. Dude. Oh my god, saw blades. There's so much going on right now. He's dropped a bunch of golden weapons here. Okay, we got him. We got golden shovel. There was a, a red chest back over here, so let's go open that up really quick. All cursed. 
Hyper Gatling Bazooka, Super Wrong Direction, and the Energy Shake Gun. I'm gonna take whatever this is. Interesting. Was it Shake Gun or Shank Gun? Shank Gun, okay. I gotta say, because it seems more like it'd be Shank Gun, based on what it's doing. God damn, this floor is awesome though. So now, now that I know how to get to it as well, I'm gonna try and come here more often. But I do have to give up a weapon to get here, which is a little scary, I've gotta say. Um, Throne, but maybe. I'm gonna take the last wish here for some ammo. Oh, we get to go to the inverted version of this floor, which scares the living hell out of me. Oh my god. I just got my ultra level. Bugger. My uh, thing you just got used there. Not last wish, the other one. But toxic minigun. Holy damn. Oh, we got our Ultra, of course. Let's see what we got going on here. Bigger fiery explosions. Explosions deal more damage against enemies. Explosive weapons cost 20% less ammo. Well, that's pretty awesome. Um, you deal more contact damage. Uh, deal damage to enemies near you. Pretty interesting. Energy weapons cost 20% less ammo. Lightning does more damage and travels further. Um, and teleport into walls. Faded... Faded pickups transform into friendly ultra lightning and rads. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this because I've got lightning and I've got energy. So I think this one sounds pretty good. Oh, and I can I can grab more lightning on this lightning thing. Hell yes. I've got lightning on my lightning crossbow. I'm intrigued to see how that one ends up working. Okay, we're just out of here now. And we are fighting the Inverted Throne, which is really, really good, actually, because there is an unlock character for fighting the Inverted Throne. If we beat it. Because, <laughs> honestly, this is going to be very difficult, I would say. Although this thing is doing insane damage, so we might be more okay. Oh, dude, I just teleported directly into him for some reason. That was super lucky. But we, didn't, we did beat the Inverted Throne there, so that's awesome. And we get the inverted Ultra Throne as well. Oh my god. Dude, this is wacky. We got it. Oh my god, we got it. Scares the hell out of me, but there you go. Onto our loop. Yeah, the lightning traveling further is pretty amazing here. I'm always glad to have impact wrists on a loop as well. Frost line. Let's go through here. Slightly harder floor, but I think we can handle it. That was a, a cool little route we took there. Yeah, this seems to be very, very good. I did just get hit by an explosive there, but no threat to us. Got to be very careful around the explosive boys, because they are doing a lot to me. Oh shit, I kind of walked right into that guy. Right. Wow, we killed that guy so fast. That's incredible. Golden crossbow. Awesome golden weapon to grab. Oh, dude. That guy fired a lot of shots at me there. This could be a stage where I die, just because I there's a lot of enemies here, and I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Teleport in to get the HP. Teleport out to escape. Oh, dude, this guy's teleporting me around. I hate that. Holy shit, he teleported all the enemies to me. Okay, that is 
fucking insane. That's so fucking cool. That's like a really, really crazy boss mechanic for loops, but very, very interesting nonetheless. We can reroll Stronger Spirit. I don't think so. That thing has saved our life a boatload of times so far. How is everything not dead yet? Come on now. Wow. <laughs> that was insane. These, uh, these like, powered up enemies that leave behind these cubes, I feel like they're going to be the death of me quite a few times, because that cube can be really bad. We've got the assassin here. I, I saw him at one point, but he's gone now. Where, where the hell's he gone? Oh, there he is. Did I just kill him with contact damage? I think I did. I think he just walked right into me. Mini rocket shotgun? Oh my god. Seems kind of crazy. Give me all that health before it disappears, thank you. Awesome, this thing's great. Blocks bullets as well. Yeah, yeah, all those little blocks look. I feel like that could be... That could spell trouble for us pretty easily. Luckily, the lightning, the uh, ultra mutation we got, like I said, it's just absolutely carrying. The lightning travels so far. Oh, 70% rads to enter. We'll go through this again. I can't remember what this was last time. Did we make it through this area last time? I don't think we did, did we? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh my god. These guys are really scary. I mean, they do give you a warning that that shot is coming, but even still, it's... A little hard to avoid. Oh my lord. Nah. Unfortunate. Oop. We did have a revive, though. Unfortunately, we've revived without holding a weapon, though, which is... Nah, bugger. Unfortunate, but that is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this look into this character, Atom, and we'll obviously keep playing the modded characters as we go forward. We're trying to do the, what we can and trying to get as many loops as we can. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.